What is up, crew? This is Scott. And this is Simeon. And we are Two Button Crew. You are Two Button Crew because we welcome you into the family of Nintendo fans. As Nintendo fans, today we are going to be discussing the latest news. Yes. So it's you... always an adventure with Nintendo, is it not? It is. You never know what to expect. You never know what you're going to get, like a box of chocolates. Yeah. So... What we have done for you is prepared the most interesting news stories from the previous week. We get to discuss them. Many of them come from uh, Go Nintendo, so thank you to that site for doing lots of good work. Mm -hmm. Let's hit on uh, Pokemon Go first. This was a rumor at the time this story was made, but it's since been confirmed. Generation 3 Pokemon are appearing, and uh, front and center, that would be Gengar. He's Generation 1. one. But uh, yeah, Bennett and Dusclop. Dusclop. <laughs> Sometimes I do that and shup it. Yeah, shup it. <laughs> That's just a fun word to throw out there. You losing the game? Oh, shup it. <laughs> and uh, and what did we just learn from Octopath Traveler? It was like. Clivesdale or something. Uh, uh, Clivesdale. <laughs> um, what was it that they said? Yeah. Chives? No, that's, that's a kind of onion. I don't know. but Oh, <laughs> Clivey. I can't remember what... That's how so, bad our memories are, people. It doesn't last for ten minutes. Okay, so Pokemon Go, and, you know, they announced Generation 3 Pokemon. I think it's funny that they put a Generation 1 front and center, and it's for that relatability. And, so it's and it's Halloween. Yeah. Halloween time. Lots ghosts. of lots of ghosts came in Generation Three. There's uh, that sneaky Pikachu hat. Yes, it looks like um, what's his face? The Mimikyu. Yeah, Mimikyu. I believe it is, but Mimikyu is not for a lot of no, generations. So it's Generation Seven. So anyway, it's gonna be a while. Yep, and then we go, little Caterpie, Caterpie cameo oh. and stuff. But yeah, this is totally Halloween themed getting kids to go outside and get kidnapped around Halloween. Yep, at night time. Now, are you excited for this? No. I'm not either. Um, oh, I, I'll put it this way. Generation 3 is the generation that I stopped playing and watching Pokemon pretty much all together. Um, like, when Generation 2 hit... Pretty much right after it hit, I got kind of disinterested in Pokemon. Okay. But I did uh, play Gale of Darkness. Um, it's yes, which is a Generation Three game, and I watched some of the anime episodes in Generation Three. I know what you're saying. It's really weird. I had such a strange relationship with uh, my pattern following the Pokemon series. I skipped like every mainline entry and played like Snap, Stadium, <laughs> Stadium 2, uh, Coliseum, you Gale of Darkness, yep. and Hey You Pikachu. So I just completely, if it was a target, I like outlined the hey, man. Did you play uh, Pokemon Ranger? Pokemon yeah. Ranger, this no, DS game. No, I did not. I think I played a demo I've briefly. It. But let's move on to our next story. Yes. We've got uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is not in the works for Switch. But they might explore it later. So what they're saying is we don't care about porting to Nintendo, which is sad because I've seen. Have you seen gameplay of this? Yeah. This is a crazy looking game. Like, this I looks know. like a lot of fun. I know that this is kind of Battlefield mixed with Star Wars. Um, and That's not exactly familiar. what it is. I'm not familiar with Battlefield at all, but this game looks crazy. The thing with Battlefield is you can have a lot of online players at the same time. So in this game, you know, you can be a stormtrooper killing Darth Vader if you want to. That's, That's cool. cool. Uh, That's cool. Uh, I can see how this one isn't a fit for Switch. Of course, it makes me sad, but I think this is a massive, massive, modern, modern game. So Yeah. It, the thing that I think is stupid is that they're saying, we're not looking at it now. We might look at it later. Yeah, it's going to be too late. It's, it's going to be too late. It's, uh, it's always too late when they try and do that for Switch. They tried to do that with Call of Duty for Wii U. Yeah. Um, if, they, if they ever say, we'll do it later for Switch... 
it's almost always like either a flop or you don't hear about it since then. They did that with the yeah. uh, um, Batman Arkham games. Um, I never, I literally did not hear about the Wii U port after it dropped. You're right. If if there's a time to start making your big game for the Switch, it is yesterday. Yes, so exactly. Hopefully, we'll get some form of Star Wars. I hope. I'm sure we will. Nintendo stuff is selling really well. This was a press release that basically said they sold really well. <laughs> I, and that's not a big surprise. Um, Two thirds of September video game hardware. That's crazy. And that's accounting the SNES Classic Edition, of course, which launched in September. So the good news is they made enough of them to get on this uh, chart. And that's why last week uh, you were you talked about it, and I wasn't there. I wasn't able to talk about Doug Bowser's weak excuses of, we didn't know that it was going to sell well. And derp. Oh. And yeah. it's like, okay, first of all, NES Classic, people still want... And like Super Nintendo Classic, it's like as soon as you announced it, everybody was like, "I'm gonna get one." And it's like at that point, you just you you know it's gonna be a hit. You can't right. anyway. I, this doesn't surprise me. Another thing that contributes to these sales is remember that Samus Returns was a September game, so that probably sold a few 3DSs conceivably. Yeah, conceivably it did. Conceivably, there are some people that were holding out for a new Metroid game to buy a 3DS. Or a new 3DS. Yeah, they, Samus they, Edition. Yeah, they've come out with the, the new faceplates since then, so yeah, possibly now, before possibly we system seller. Before we move on, uh, MacTX did take the time to write a question about our story about Star Wars. He said, do people buy those types of games for Nintendo consoles? Because he says, I usually only just buy Nintendo or Nintendo type games for my Nintendo systems you know it's hard to say because it's like people don't third parties don't support Switch because uh, it's this cycle where like developers won't support it because gamers don't buy third party games for it but Gamers don't purchase Nintendo systems for third-party games because Nintendo never carries the third-party games because yeah yeah it's it's a vicious cycle um, and it and it's difficult to know because I I guess the barometer would be looking at how well these third-party games are selling that are multi-platform yeah already like I'm really curious to know how well. Rocket League. I was trying to think of it. How well Rocket League is selling on Switch? Because if it's yeah. selling like Gangbusters, even a few years after its initial launch, then that's going to tell third party something that coming out on Switch on a Nintendo console yeah. is profitable. Well, that's the thing, because Mac TX might be hashtag blessed enough to own a Nintendo system and another box. That's true. Whereas for people like me, I only own Nintendo hardware. So yes, when if I'm going to buy Battlefront, Skyrim, Rocket League, it will be on the Switch and nowhere else because I don't own anything else. So yes, I think there is an audience for those games. Now, if you own a more powerful system, you're not going to buy your third-party games on Switch unless you really want them portable. So No, and and I also want to make a distinction because MacTX made a good point. He said for his Wii U, Zombie U is the only third-party game <laughs> uh, that he has. And yeah. it's... The Switch, I, wanna, I want to impress upon myself that the Switch is different from the Wii U and the Wii. Um, you know, it's going back to the GameCube where the controller is, is not necessarily a gimmick. So um, I'm hoping that the Switch breaks that stigma of the only reason we ported it to the Wii U was because of some special functionality. And the reason they didn't develop for it was because the Wii U controller um, was weird and it was difficult to develop for. So I'm hoping that with Switch, it's a snap <laughs> oh, to, dear. to develop third-party games for because we have this. Um, if you 
play Switch, you're either playing with this Let me or close up on you, Simeon. The, the regular, you're either playing you go, with man. this or the Joy-Cons, which are, you know, maybe not quite as good as this, but pretty much the same functionality. Speaking of Switch, it had a firmware update. 4.0. Yeah. And it adds some really good stuff. You can use the capture button, not just to take screenshots now, but video, if you hold it wow. down, it saves the last 30 seconds of your gameplay, and you can trim that up, share it on social media. Now, this is not an operating system-wide enabled feature. It works on Mario Kart 8, Breath of the Wild, ARMS, and Splatoon 2. And that's it? That's it right now. I'm sure Mario Odyssey will have it as well. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Looks like Eric Hansen is joining us on the live stream. Thank you very much for coming to the stream, sir. Yeah, multiplayer, uh, he points out, would be an issue for Battlefield on the Switch because Uh, you want your voice chat. Yes. (laughs) Stinking Nintendo. (laughs) Why you do? I see. I don't think of things like that because that's not something that's appealing to me personally. I'm, I'm different from from uh, a lot of other gamers out there. You got new uh, icons as well on Switch 4.0. You can be different Mario people. Oh yeah, let's take a look. I want to see Okay. I want I want to see at least at least one of these well, I mean, Mario we people. Can, we can we can scroll through. You can scroll through them. Exactly. All right, let's, let's Oh take man, a look. I just put my friend code online. I'm going to be oh. so famous now. Yeah, right. Man. Okay. okay. They must not be at the bottom where I would expect them to be. Yeah. Okay, so, we so got, you can be Cappy. This is like Cappy's maiden form. Yeah. That's a sentence, Mario, right? I guess. Mario with an earring. Yeah. I'm but, surprised that Mario never had an earring in the 90s. There were additional. Moving right along, there are <laughs> additional uh, Breath of the Wild ones as well, so now you can be these champion people. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the Amiibo going on sale at all. At all. All right. Enough of that, right? Yeah, enough of that stuff. So, Switch 4.0 is out. Uh, there's also some news channel updates. You can pre-purchase games on the eShop, which is nice. That's, Wii U had that. You can pay for a game in advance. You can download its data in advance. Just unlock it right when it, when launches. it launches. That's great. So you get to avoid all that crazy digital store rush. It's annoying. And then we've been at tournaments where we all want to play like Smash Bros. for Wii U, but someone's got the wrong version. Oh, geez. Okay? But now with a Nintendo Switch, if you are playing in a group, everyone has their own consoles, you don't have to have internet in the building at all. You can gift your software version to fellow Switch owners. Wow. That is mind-blowing. We're living in the future. This, yeah, okay. Nintendo, you you do have something going on. Way to go. And uh, lastly, for Switch 4.0, they did not enable Bluetooth headphones like my AirPods, which I hope that they'll do. I'm sure many uh, Bluetooth headphone owners are waiting for that as well. But they enabled USB headsets... Okay. Okay. USB wireless headsets. So if you're in your dock, you can plug a USB dongle and use wireless headphones. If you're on the go, you can create a little daisy chain and have your USB A dongle into a USB C converter plugged into the bottom of the switch and then use your wireless USB headphones. How much do you love that, Simeon? That sounds very very complicated and a <laughs> whole lot more complicated than it should be so which as, sounds like <laughs> nintendo as you're watching this video just comment which your favorite switch 4.0 update is that would be interesting to see so now we have nintendo staying quiet um when asked about potential future classic editions namely game boy and N64 Classic. Yeah, these are the ones in the news. Even uh, the TBC Live show last week addressed which would be more likely. That was a great time. But they're just saying, (laughs) when asked about the idea, Shimizu completely dodged the question by saying that he wants to see the Famicom Mini and Super Famicom Mini side-by-side in stores first. So he's like, look, 
we got stock problems. Yeah, <laughs> we we have we have issues already with what we've done, uh, and we need to catch up on that before we think to the future, which I think is wise. Yep. Um, and I think that, yeah, I, I think that is wise to do. Um, maybe it would be a smart business decision if they just kept on going and released N64 Classic, <laughs> and so people snatch that up and then eventually release the other ones so that they can catch up on them, like, um, as opposed to, like, waiting. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how business works, people. I just speculate. I never went to business school. I'm just rattling off my own ignorance here, in case you haven't noticed. MacTX asked, does that mean that they're going to get rid of that whole, you know, Nintendo online app with the convoluted way of doing voice chat and stuff on the Switch? No, it does not. You can use USB headsets to listen to your game, but we should really just say headphones, not headsets, because there's no input. Supported yeah, by this. It's only output. Yep. Uh, Nintendo, one of these hey, days. However, Eric is telling us that Sony stuff is similar. You don't get your okay. Bluetooth headphones, so. Well, one of these days, Nintendo is going to catch up to this in 15 years when everybody is going past some new thing that Nintendo has to hurdle the obstacle of. Yes. So, in other news, we have uh, Pizza Hut. Wait, no, that's not. Uh, we have <laughs> yeah, Pizza Hut. A new edition of the new Nintendo 3DS XL SNES edition. This is a SNES 3DS XL. Also new. That is a big mouthful. But it's also a new. Is new. it in 2D HD with 2.5D graphics? I don't like your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's beautiful. I I like the North American SNES color scheme. I just do. Um, as a kid growing up, I didn't really like it, and I didn't really get it. But now I get it. I, I I like the way it looks. I think it's beautiful. If I were to buy a new 3DS, I would probably want to look <gasps> for for one of them like this. I don't think I will though. Not the uh, Samus one. Ooh, nah, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. What do you think about this though? This is upside down when you're holding it. Who is this for? Is this for the people watching you play, or is this for you? Well, this is. This is because if they were to show it right side up, yes, um, it would be upside down. So yeah, it's for you. It's for you to look at when you've closed it. it includes... When other people look at it, who cares what it looks like? <laughs> That's why it's kind of funny Like when people spend a lot of money on nice cars. It's like... You have to sit inside of that. I'm the one that gets to look That's at it. That's right. So. Unless they're looking out of their bay window in their mansion, <laughs> sipping their tea like, mm, I love waking up to look at my car every day. Um, I wake up, I don't, I don't, I don't know what my car looks like. Like sometimes I'll drive a different car to the store, and I'll just like get out of my car, walk in, and then I'll come out and I'll be like. <laughs> These cars look similar. Which one's mine? That one's definitely not mine. And I like go up to like the other one. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. No, that one was mine that I thought was definitely not mine. Oh dear. <laughs> <sighs> well, Simeon, this new Nintendo 3DS XL SNES edition comes with downloaded Super Mario Kart. It's not the best deal if you think about. There are eighty dollar 2DSs. That come pre-installed with Mario Kart 7 or New Super Mario Bros. 2. Full retail 3DS games. So this is giving you like an 8 buck. Per. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nicer if they had multiple SNES games? I, I think I think they should. I honestly think they should. I mean, Super Mario Kart is a classic. Yeah. I still love going back to it. but. However, it's not like you're entitled to a free game because the Samus 3DS that just came out had nothing... Not That's Metroid true. Samus Returns, not Super Metroid or anything like that. So uh, mainly this just looks cool, and I think it's pretty smart to piggyback on popularity of SNES being back in the spotlight. So that's now, our why, news. Why, why do they have English in yellow and other 
languages in green. <laughs> and why would you? <laughs> there's a language that's spelled the same as English, <laughs> but with an accent mark. Edition. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I, I I don't know either. So pretty good week for news. Nintendo's doing good job. Yeah, they're doing good job on some things mediocre job that we don't care about on other things and <laughs> poor job on other things i mean yeah what can you say about nintendo they do things their own way they march their own drum next week we'll for sure talk about animal crossing mobile which simian is just dying to prepay for yes and it's gonna be a blast so uh subscribe to this channel we will go live at a time which we will disclose on social media yep thanks for watching Thanks for being a part of the crew. And by dying to pay for that game, prepay for that game, it means if I were to prepay for that game, I would literally die because I wouldn't <laughs> have any money left. No. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments below. If you're watching live, please join the chat. If you're watching the playback, don't forget to leave your comments below. We read them. Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.